It's definitely a change of pace to see John out in the world and not observing it from above from his post on Thunderbird 5. But that can be a nice contrast and to see Alan and Gordon doing monitor duty. That and seeing John using the magnetic socks to aid his efforts in saving those at the resort to stop the cable cutters holding the resort in place just showed what John was made of, even though he didn't have his exosuit with him. I did like the little callback to the Thunderbirds movie when Parker mentions the Parker Haymaker. While that movie is something we like to repress, it's not a bad line. Not surprised to see the hood back to his old thieving ways. No doubt a means to gain capital to use against the mechanic. And that reminds me, that's something of a recurring formula I've noticed throughout this season. They start off by introducing the mechanic, then they go to some standalone episodes with dealing with the idiot of the week formula in either Langstrom Fischler, Francoise Le Maire, Brandon Berenger, or Ned Tedford, and then resume the story arc with the mechanic or the hood since his breakout from the prison. I appreciate it's refreshing to have a break from the main story here and there, but it seems to be happening more and more throughout this season. And with six episodes to go before the end of this season, it does beg to question what more are we likely to see of Project Sentinel, which is a nod to the Navy strike vessel from the original series that shot down Thunderbird 2, mistaking it for a hostile vehicle. Even to this day, that scene was a nail-biter. Amusing aspects were seeing Alan and Gordon having to negotiate for entry to Thunderbird 5 when John's AI partner refused them entry until he used some persuasive tactics with EOS. As for the cast this week, I can't really think of anyone that turned in a bad performance as everyone was on par this week. So yeah. Animation. Wetter Workshop and Milk VFX did their job in spades as ever, and the miniature work on the mountains was immaculate. And I enjoyed Sherbet being more... animated by using facial expressions when agreeing with Parker's instincts. That said, it's refreshing to see those two cooperating now and not being antagonistic, for lack of a better word, throughout all of Season 1. As for my final thoughts, not so much on the ships themselves this week, but more on character development with John and how he copes with being out of his comfort zone on Thunderbird 5. I suppose the metaphor, a fish out of water, describes his situation best? Until next time, folks. Good night from the night.